Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. Now, in the last episode, we built this Porsche Carrera GT, and it looks absolutely stunning. Uh, we managed to squeeze 990 odd horsepower out of it, which is crazy. Now, this time we're building the new 2016 Porsche 911. Um, this one, again, I think has a boxer engine, if I am right. Yeah, that looks like a boxer engine. So what we're going to do, we're going to uh, break down the car. Um, we are going to um, take all the parts off of it. Uh, and then we're going to rebuild everything all from scratch. And we should be good to go after that. I do like the look of the newer Porsche 911s though. They do look a lot better than uh, the older ones. And this one has that weird cooling radiators. Though these ones are like shrunk down to a tiny size. Uh, we should be good on the interior, I would presume. So, let's move this car to the lifter. And... Take the car apart. Up she goes. Right, first of all, let's take off these rims. They look absolutely amazing, the Porsche rims. And today, for once, the game's running smoothly, or fairly smooth. I don't know whether they've released an update without me knowing, because I've downloaded so much stuff, I don't actually have a download history anymore. Um, but hopefully there was an update that I was unaware of, um, because this is playing fairly decently today. Uh, suspension arms come out next. There we go. Oh, that's interesting. So this car's four-wheel drive. It's a four-wheel drive car. So it's got a front differential rather than a rear differential. Because most four-wheel drive cars, the engine is actually in the front. So for the engine to be in the back, it needs um, a differential in the front. Um, so that the power can be spread out to both the rear and the front of the car. It's quite weird though having the engine in the rear and having it four wheel drive though. Very, very unusual. I mean, if there are any cars that you guys know of um, that has a rear engine but four-wheel drive, then let me know in the comments. I mean, cars like the Lamborghini Aventador, they don't count because they're not rear engine; they're mid-engine. Um, which m sort of makes more sense because that means... I don't know. I don't know whether it makes more sense. I'm sort of confusing myself even then. Right, there's the differential, and then out comes the drive shaft. Right now, let's go to the rear. This is actually, oh, where's my cursor gone? There it is. This is actually quite a good gearbox. 
because it doesn't need like two drive axles it's just yeah it comes out of the side of the gearbox like that and then sends another sort of output to the front which makes our life slightly easier because we don't have to have a crap ton of parts There we go. Engine bay. That's great. Why is the starter motor always only accessible from the engine bay? Yet you can access most of the gearbox from underneath. Uh, bearings. There we go. There we go, starter motor is out. And out comes the gearbox. Now the engine should come out. Uh, if we move this to the lifter. I should be able to pull the engine out. There we go. There we go. Air filter covers. I'm guessing this has two air filters. Yeah. But they are B6As, which has a performance version, which is very good. There we go, and radiators. Ta-da! That looks good. Okay. Um, so let's take a look at oh, what engine we have to use. Uh, it is the B6 twin turbo. Ooh, twin turbos. I think the Pagani Hawaira had a twin turbo, so kind of surprised that this has a twin turbo. Um, I would predict we could probably get ourselves around about, because it is a twin turbo, get ourselves maybe 700, 800 horsepower. So we need B6A parts mostly. No. B6A. And no free space in the inventory again. Why do I keep doing that? I keep forgetting to scrap all my parts. There we go. Um, right. Oh my gosh, we got loads of like Porsche parts.
Dodge charges. I think I could tap any faster. Ah, uh, that'll do. I'll make sure to sell them all this time. Right, so we need engine block A, B6A, and B6A, engine block B. I think I'm confusing myself. Engine block A, B6A. Engine block B, B6A. There we go. Right, so we need alternator, oil filter... Uh, oil filter. Is it? It's a B6A water pump. That should be plenty of rollers. Um, right, oil filter. We need timing cover C. Where are you? There we go. Water pump B6A. Water pump pulley as well for the B6A engine. Right, so we need a crankshaft as well. Let's grab one of them. There you go, B6A crankshaft. Uh, we'll probably need to rotate the engine upside down. Okay, um, bearing caps, uh, we also need piston rings. And we're also fitting ourselves our performance parts as well, so uh, while we're at it, alternator. Uh, we need our fuel pump and our fuel filter. Um, and here they are, pistons. And we need rod caps. Always forget about the rod caps. Or forget about something. Every single time I fix an engine, I always forget something. There you go. Rod caps.
And now we need our oil pan. Right, let's uh, flip this back round. We need engine head B and A. B6A. There we go. And what caps are these? Camshaft caps. So we need three on each side, so we need 12 in total. Uh, we could also get our spark plugs while we're at it. Um, over here, spark plugs. Surprisingly, there's not as many performance parts as the turbo. So I don't presume there's going to be actually as much horsepower as I said. I think there might be around about 600. Um... Because obviously the Porsche V12 surprised me with how little extra horsepower there was. Because it started out with like 600. The Pagani actually managed to get like 1,300. We got loads of horsepower out of it from a V12. And the V10 in the Porsche. Sorry, V10. Um, the V10 in the Porsche... Um, seem to have way more power uh, than the other one. So we need time and chain B6A. I'm guessing we're going to need two of them. There we go. Uh, cover B... Engine head cover B. Uh, oh, ignition coils. Okay. We're going to need six of them. Down at the bottom, is there B6A turbos? Yes, we want two of them. I think that should be good to go. Let's 
fuel rail. There we go. Uh, right, let's do this again. Uh, all the timing chains go in and the shoes and all that. There we go. Turbos. And the intake manifold. Right, we got a couple more parts to go on. Uh, fuel rails. Got ourselves our throttle, which looks amazing. Uh, we need an oil fill tube. Um... Here it is, oil fill tube. Uh, right, let's take a look. We need a V8 camshaft pulley, crankshaft pulley. <clears throat> there is a difference. Uh, crankshaft pulley V8. Six A uh, and we need a belt tensioner. Belt there we go. And we've got a Eiffel power steering pump, which should be under the tuning shop. Um, Eiffel, there we go. And if we take a quick look around, that is everything except the fuel filter and we've got our gearbox parts to go in come on there we go Clutch release bearing. And there we go. Engine has been built. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button. Or if you're on iOS, you might have to go into the description and click the link in there. But I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.
for no one We're headed straight up 